Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft Dungeons video. Now, in today's video, along with the new end DLC release, some are finding it difficult to collect the needed ender eyes to finish the portal in the stronghold mission. Now, if you don't already know, you need to collect six ender eyes which are scattered around in the already existing levels as mini bosses called the Endersons. In this guide, I'm hoping to show you the whereabouts of the Endersons, the solution to any puzzles you come across, and just general tips to make gathering these ender eyes much less of a difficulty. Now this tutorial will show you how to get the first ender eye that is located in the forest of Creeper Woods. Now I'm going to be making this a series, so if you need any assistance in getting the rest of the ender eyes, be sure to keep a lookout on my channel. Now a quick thanks for all the support and for reaching 95 subscribers. If you enjoy this video and would like to see more, make sure to subscribe, like and it will be greatly appreciated. Now let's move on to the gear that we will need. Now the first thing I want to talk about is the armor. Now the armor is probably the least necessary item that you'll need excluding um, melee and ranged weapons. And I just used Arctic Fox Armor with Multi-Roll and Acrobat. This just improves on my ability to roll and just helps in some scenarios. And with my bow, which has the enchantment Burst Bowstring, which whenever I roll sends out a volley of arrows to my foes, which just basically helps me with clearing mobs when trying to evade. Now by no means is my armor the best armor for speedrunning, probably an evocation robe would do better with artifact cooldown, but necessarily the armor doesn't impact it too much. The most crucial part is the artifacts. The artifacts I use is the boots of swiftness which gives me a small speed boost to help quicken up the pace and a ghost cloak which also gives me a very minor speed boost, but also allows me to face through mobs, allowing me to pass through hordes of mobs without issue. Now, you might be wondering why I have the spin blade on as my middle artifact. Not only can it assist me in uh, defeating mobs, it can also help me clear out hordes of mobs with relative ease, but is also my favorite artifact which you might already know if you've seen my most recent video, which was all about the spin blade. Now that we've got the gear out of the way, let's cut to the chase. I'm going to show you the direct path you want to take if you want to get the end of eye. As usual, we want to follow the yellow marker until we reach a certain checkpoint. Now it is recommended to lower your difficulty setting before beginning this mission as it will just make it easier to fight off mobs when you don't have enough time to switch into your proper gear. Now once you reach this location, stop, clear out the mobs. Now if you can't tell where we are, I'm going to show you a few certain um, key landmarks that you can find here. So now here it is on the map, and here is a closer detail on the map, and you'll see a little further up ahead, we will soon find a villager. Now in the main mission we will be wanting to rescue this, but we really don't have to for our goal. And also there will be an enderman statue over here. So what you want to do is take the side path, roll onto this little stone ledge, oop, and don't, don't do that, and do one more roll until you reach this area. Now like usual we want to speed through it until we reach our first gate. Now you just want to keep on following this general direction and I'm going to speed it up until we reach the next point. Very shortly after we will be greeted with a mini boss type place which will have an enderman. Now hopefully with a better TNT throw than me, you should be able to ace this with relative ease and then you want to continue heading upwards until you are greeted with a yellow travel gate. 
Now just keep in mind this is not the enderman we are looking for. From here on out, it is pretty much a straight path until you reach the Endescent. All you really need to watch out for is some narrow aisles where you can be ambushed by creepers and other mobs. I'm going to speed up the clip until we reach the Endescent. So here it might look confusing, but it's still relatively simple. What we want to do is continue on our path and just follow any of the jump pads that we hit. Now when you see these yellow teleport gateways, just walk through them and they'll teleport you to the other side. Other than that, there are really no more tricks apart from a few extra jump pads, but in the end, it just all leads down to the innocent. Now that we have reached the Endersons location, it's time to switch into our proper fighting gear. Now all I really did to change was replacing my swiftness boots with a lightning rod. Now the lightning rod is helpful because it allows me to take large amounts of his health away from a safe distance. Now at the start I did a silly mistake by hopping into the void blocks allowing hit the Endersons to get an easy attack on me. Now what may not seem as a threat at first, the void blocks may pose a greater danger than you might expect. Now because the void blocks do very minor damage, you may not think them that dangerous, but with the added slowness effect that it gives you, it restricts your movement allowing the Endescent to get one clean strike on you. Combined with its heavy hitting, basically you want to stay afar and use your ranged weapon and that's what I felt was the best strategy. Now, if whenever I tried using a melee attack, turns out his heavy hitting attacks were harder to dodge than you might expect, and I just found that using a combination of artifacts, ranged weapons, and a melee weapon whenever his minions spawn, this boss is relatively simple. Now, I really do hope you guys enjoyed that video. Now, if you wish to see more content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe as I'll be hopefully bringing to you much more content like this in the future. Um, I just want to quick say a quick apology for not posting in a bit. I got a bit carried away with schoolwork and other things. Now, other than that, I really hope you guys found this helpful and if you need any more help searching for these pesky Eye of Enders, be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. Anyways, that's it for me and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye!